As far as I know, there have been other participants who've yet to designate a partner. You could go ask around. Just be sure to make it quick. If you don't have a partner by the time the event starts, then you'll be immediately disqualified. Uh-oh. We can't let that happen. Let's go see if we can find anyone to partner up with nearby. Traveler, Paimon, I didn't expect to run into you here. We're here for the test of courage. How about you? Well, I was originally headed to Yai Publishing House to hand in the responses for this month's issue of That's Life. But I had no idea that that crafty fox would be there. She brought up the test of courage event and suggested I give it a try. I wasn't interested, but she said... The mighty general of Watatsumi Island isn't afraid of anything, is he? Uh, and before I knew it, I found myself caught in her persuasive mind games. Uh, I immediately regretted it the moment I arrived here. There could be traps everywhere. Oh, this event's sounding more and more dangerous. Uh, my instinct tells me that the forest is chock full of ambushes. One misstep, and it'll be over. Perhaps that, uh, crafty fox is hiding somewhere in the dark, waiting for another opportunity to tease me. Who knows? She might even use a camera and send embarrassing photos back to Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency once said, when you march into an ambush, escape the enemy vanguard. When escape is impossible, then seek ample reinforcements. Hmm. Now that you're here, maybe we can turn the tables. Could I ask you two to partner up with me? Great! This'll be your chance to fight side by side once again! With you around, there's nothing to fear! That crafty fox's games are over! Oh! Traveler and Paimon! Greetings! Huh? Are you here for the test of courage, too? Yes. My brother told me that the event would be most interesting, and suggested that I personally participate. I have never experienced a test of courage event, so I don't really know what to expect. Oh, so this is your first time? To be frank, I'm no expert when it comes to the supernatural. I often worry that I haven't shown spirits proper respect, and have brought shame upon my clan. Oh, speaking of which, may I ask if the two of you are partners for the event? Actually, the Shrine Maiden just told us that we only count as a single participant. However that works. So, we're looking for a partner now. Splendid. In that case, how would you like to be my partner? I always feel at ease when you're by my side. Uh, but of course, please don't let me get in the way if you wish to participate with someone else. Oh, you'd really like to? Then it's my honor. Or I suppose I should say, please pardon my inexperience. And if I appear to be frightened, please promise not to laugh at me. There was a familiar scent upon the wind. I knew that I'd see you around here. Kazuma! We meet again. Paimon didn't expect to see you at the test of courage. And why is that? Do I seem unsuited for this sort of event? Oh, no, not at all. It's just that Paimon's never seen you get scared, Kazuma. You're always so calm and collected. It's like you've never been scared by anything. You flatter me. I suppose that's only a reflection of my time wandering in the wilderness. I've heard many strange stories in my travels. I can say I've even experienced a few myself. Over time, I must have gotten used to it. Ah, that makes sense. But, uh, why do you want to join the Test of Courage? After hearing the Yashiro Commission promote the rewards for this event, I was guessing that you two would show up. 
Since we hadn't seen each other for some time, I figured I might as well come and see you. After all, meeting someone after being apart for so long always lifts the spirits. Oh, so you were waiting for us? That's right. So tell me, how has your journey been lately? Things have gone pretty well. Uh, by the way, the Shrine Maiden told us that everyone needs a partner to participate in the Test of Courage event. Have you found a partner yet, Kazawa? No, not yet. Do you need me to be your partner? Very well then. I wouldn't mind a walk together. I haven't participated in many of these events, so I'm curious what new experiences lie ahead. Ah, it looks like you found yourself a partner. The event is just about to start. I will now reveal the item you'll be looking for in the first round. It's called... Dongo Milk. Ooh. Dongo Milk? Correct. Tomoki was kind enough to provide us with his Dongo Milk, and it has been hidden somewhere in the Chinju Forest. The path will be marked with signs to guide you, but some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. Now, if you're ready, then you may begin. We don't want anyone to beat us to it. Let's go! Hmm. There's something off about this place. This unsettling feeling reminds me of a strange story I heard among the troops. A strange story? Is it scary? According to the story, there was an army that was marching through a deserted forest when they discovered a stockpile of delicious food. The troops were short on provisions, so they came to a halt and began to eat heartily. Before long, they suddenly noticed several pairs of blood-red eyes staring at them. Ah, I'm answered enough. What a scary story. This reminds me of a story that a retainer once told me several years ago. There was a wandering samurai who, while crossing the forest at night, noticed that the familiar scenery was beginning to change right in front of him. The man stopped and realized that it was as if he was in another world. Strange creatures that didn't appear to be human were all staring at him. Ah! That's super scary! Paimon doesn't even dare look at these trees after hearing that story! Mm, will we really be okay? If anything weird jumps out at us, teach it a lesson, Traveler! Uh, is it just Paimon? Or does Chinju Forest feel a little gloomier than before? I haven't sensed anything particularly different. How about I tell you a story? Once in my wandering travels, I came upon a bridge, and I had been told that an ominous presence awaited those who crossed that bridge at night. It was said that there were a pair of lovebirds who tragically fell into the water below and perished. Their grieving spirits converged around the bridge, and were never dispersed. So, I picked a night to cross the bridge, and as I was crossing, I heard some voices. And... and then? I'm also curious about what's over there, but we should continue following the signs for now. I stopped and listened for some time and realized it was a couple disguised as ghosts who blackmailed passers-by for their belongings. They were arguing over how to split their ill-gotten loot. I'm also curious about what's over there, but we should continue following the signs for now. Huh. After hearing that... The horror. The horror. Hello? Is someone there? I will haunt you, and you shall know my horror! Ah, something's over there! Wait, Kazuha, where are you going? It sounds like something horrible happened to him. 
Maybe we should ask if there's any way we can help. Uh, um... It's too late! I will haunt you! See? He doesn't need any help! Let's get out of here! Oh no! You spotted me! Please, not a word of this to anyone. Otherwise, they'll dock my pay. I'm also curious about what's over there, but we should continue following the signs for now. Huh? Who goes there? Identify yourself! There may be ambushes waiting in the forest. Let's stick to the road signs. No brain! Ah, the pain! The torment! Ah, the torment. You will suffer with me. Could it be... a spirit that's haunting this place? Oh, uh... We're not here to bother you! Uh, no need to torment us! We'll even ask someone at the Grand Narakami Shrine to come and free you! <laughs> Have we reached the end? Climate doesn't see anything here. I'm also curious about what's over there, but we should continue following the signs for now. Careful, there's something up above. We should be safe here. Uh, wait, what's this? It's fireworks. Whew. I'm almost scared half to death. <sighs> wait, are these fireworks? Oh, they suddenly lit up. We better keep our distance. Let's get out of here. We found it, but it doesn't seem to be here. Hmm. Let's keep searching somewhere else. <laughs> oh, I'll show you how scary this Oni can be. Ha! <laughs> how was that? Were you scared? I can't quite make out what it is, but there seems to be something moving there. Huh? Who's there? Weird. That short guy doesn't look very scared. Come on, Ushi. Show him what you got. That's what I'm talking about. You scared now? <laughs> ah. So that's what's going on here. In this case, it might just be better to pretend to be scared. A surprise attack! I can't see anything! It's an ambush! Everyone, fall back! Wait for Paimon! That's the scent of Dongo Milk! We found it! Oh, it really is Dongo Milk! A lot of it, too! And look! There's a scarecrow here! Now who could have knocked it over? Whoa! I'd like to buy some to bring back to Watatsumi Island. I bet the troops would be happy to have such a good tasting drink. It is unfortunate that it spoils easily. Ah, let's split the remaining bottles and start heading back. Ready? Oh, was it one of your friends? Do you need to go talk to them? In that case, I don't want to get in your way. I'll take back the remaining dongle milk. 
Maybe I'll run into you in the next Test of Courage round. Look, everyone. Isn't this the Dongo milk we're searching for? And there's a scarecrow beside it. Strange. What is that doing here? Well, it doesn't matter now since we found the Dongo milk, then we must be the first ones here, right? But there's no way we can carry back so much Dongo milk. Why don't we drink some to lighten the load a little? Hyman could use a sip. Ah! The scarecrow stood up! It appears to be guarding the Dongo milk here. You mean. It's watching if we touch the dango milk? Uh, don't worry. Paimon didn't even touch it. Oh, maybe you're right. Paimon will try to calm down. Uh, let's try some together. Mmm, tastes great. Indeed. Any fears I had a moment ago seem to have been dissipated by the dango milk. And now that I look around, this is Chinju Forest as I have always known it. After making it here, it doesn't seem nearly as frightening. My brother once said that fear stems from one's heart, and if your heart is at peace, then fear naturally dissipates. Now I understand what he meant. But fear is not entirely bad. Although I've been scared a few times, I still feel happy now. I would like to continue walking through the forest for a while. Will you accompany me? Ah, I see. Well, I shall continue walking while you go greet your friend. Don't worry. Now that I've experienced the event once already, I won't be easily frightened. I'll see you later. Have a lovely chat with your friend. Hmm. It seems we'll be the first to find it. Why do you say that? I can sense a sweet aroma on the wind. The dango milk should be nearby. Really? Let Paimon have a look. Oh, you're right! There it is! Yippee! Who would have guessed we'd be the first ones? Hmm? But what's that scarecrow doing here? Careful. It seems the test wasn't as scary as I'd anticipated. However, I've enjoyed the experience together with you. Now that we've found the dango milk, we can head back the way we came. What's the matter? Is there something over there? Ah, I see. So she is at the test of courage, too. To avoid any unnecessary complications, I'd prefer not to meet with her. You may pass on my regards. There's a lot of dango milk here. I'll take half of it back and leave the rest to you. Till we meet again. Miko told me about the Test of Courage event taking place here. I thought I would come and have a look. Ah, so that's why you're here! So what do you think of the Test of Courage? Are you having fun? It's more or less the same as I remember before. I wasn't scared by anything, but on the contrary, some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Oh, that Miko! Did she send A here to scare people on purpose? If that's the case, it feels like A isn't really experiencing the event like everyone else. Oh, Paimon has an idea. We'll give you a bottle of the dango milk we just found. That would make you a winner in this round, too. Ah, yes. Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure, I'll take one. Actually, I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. 
It's brought some old memories to mind. Huh? A familiar feeling? Have you been down to the beach by any chance? I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up on it. I took a brief look and it appeared to be a game where you control flippers hovering in the air to strike a ball and hit some positioned elemental cubes. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hazura. The thought of that game caused me to recall some things from the past. Akitsu Hazura? What's that? It's a game where you use Hagoita to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazura when she was alive. Yakiyako was still around at that time, and nights in Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. The yokai would hold festivals from time to time, gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Oh, does that mean you could eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? Yes, the yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. She found it particularly fascinating. Sadly, the past has all but vanished. But seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. Sounds like it could be fun! Paimon would like to play! If you're interested, you can go to the beach and give it a try. It was still being set up when I was there earlier, but I assume it should be ready soon. Yay! I shall return to Tenshukaku. Miko told me that the test of courage consists of three rounds, so please keep up the effort and give it your best until the end. Considering you two, I think you should have no problem making it to the end. Oh, of course! <laughs> I know you can do it. Good luck. Paimon doesn't remember hearing anything about a game on the beach from Ayato. You think that activity is also planned by the Ashiro Commission? Oh, the more Paimon thinks about it, the scarier it feels. Oh, this whole test of courage thing is keeping Paimon on edge. Oh. Anyway, the first round of the event should be finished by now, so 